you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. We ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda. And for those of you subscribers who have not subscribed to our backup channel, I recommend you do that because as we continue to push the truth and expose Satanism and push the gospel of Jesus Christ, the risk of this channel getting deleted grows larger and larger. So if you want to stay connected, subscribe to our backup channel. Today I want to talk about Leonardo DiCaprio, another Illuminati puppet. You can see him in pictures doing the 666 over his eye, just another coincidence, of course, as all these actors do. When they're asked to be on a magazine cover, they just feel the need to put their hand in the AOK sign and put it over their all-seeing eye. Another ode to Lucifer, the Antichrist system, and the Beast. Uh, these people are puppets and pawns for the Illuminati hierarchy. They are the false gods that the Bible mentions. I want to talk about Leonardo DiCaprio's recent affiliation with the Kabbalah, because in January he finally committed to the Abal. You can now see him wearing the, the ribbon, the red ribbon, as most of these stars now wear, Lindsay Lohan, Madonna, Britney Spears. A symbol you need to look for when you look at these celebrities or these musicians is look for the red bracelet. Okay, they'll be wearing a red bracelet. It symbolizes being a part of the Kabbalah. Okay, so look for it. It's another symbol to look for. Just look in their wrist. These are things that we don't normally look at or look for. We look right at their face or see what they're wearing. Look at their wrist to see if they're wearing the red Kabbalah bracelet. If you want to see who's a part of it. Now, we know all of them are a part of it, but it's just another obvious sign. If you're wondering about someone and don't know, well, if they're wearing the red bracelet and they're supporting the Kabbalah, then yeah, they're a part of it. People don't understand what the Kabbalah is. They just hear it and they assume it has something to do with being Jewish. So they think it's, it's, it's okay. It's something like the Bible. When it's not, it's actually magical texts. It's Jewish magical texts. All the occultists, okay, Satanists, the Freemasons, they all share the teachings from the Kabbalah, the rituals. Okay, these rituals in the Kabbalah are black magic, blood rituals, human sacrifice. And what the Kabbalah really stands for is, is, is the secret knowledge. Okay, that's never been revealed to people, only those worthy through the process of initiation in joining the Illuminati or join, being high up in the Masonic Lodge. Okay, but what it is, is it's, is it's the secret knowledge. Because the secret societies never wrote down what they knew because they were afraid that somebody would steal it and the secret would be out. So you have to decode it through the symbols inside of the Kabbalah. There's symbols inside mathematically that they can decode from what they learn as they go through the initiation process of being in the occult. But it's really the roadmap of how to evoke and communicate with spirits. All right? It's the heart of the mystery religions. That's what the Kabbalah really is. What they do is they call on the god Raziel. He's a fallen angel, a fallen angel from Lucifer, one of Lucifer's angels. He serves Lucifer. And they call on him. You can see Aleister Crowley in his teachings. He calls on Raziel over in the spiritual realm and brings forth his message and his demons and his demon counterparts over into our realm. So the Kabbalah discusses the angels and the demons and who inhabit the spiritual realm. It talks about those things and it also tell, tells you how to evoke these demons, how to bring them over here, how to communicate with them, how to summon them, and to speak to them directly but again, it's only revealed to those who are deemed worthy through the occult as they go through the initiation process and raise themselves amongst the other scumbag Satanists in the occult. So Leonardo DiCaprio finally has made it into the, the tree of the Kabbalah, is now 
officially a spokesman for the cabal, as you can see him wearing the bracelet. Of course, he's going to see the Pope. The Pope doesn't care, right? He goes to see the Pope to talk about the environment, wearing his Kabbalah bracelet. But hey, that's no big deal, right? Pope, this Pope who's pushing universal religion, this Pope who is trying to take Jesus out of the equation and mix him with Allah and Buddha and all these other gods to make a one world religion. You would think if the Pope really stood for Jesus Christ in the scriptures, when he saw the Kabbalah bracelet, he would say, leave, get out. We don't want anyone that practices sorcery or magic here. But no, of course not. Because the sheep don't have a clue about the Kabbalah. They think it's some cool religion that all these celebrities join. Okay, the Kabbalah is satanic. The Kabbalah is black magic. It is a way to invoke spirits from the spiritual realm to get messages, to communicate with them. And it is hidden in plain sight, while the media will tell you that, well, if the Kabbalah is it's, it's Jewish mysticism. Even though the word mysticism, what do you think that means? It is magic. It is black magic. So Leonardo DiCaprio, not only flashing the 666 and has images of him with the, the eye, the light shining on his eye, he is now joined into the Kabbalah section of the occult. They have initiated him and revealed the mysteries to him and now he's a front person for it, wearing the bracelet okay the more and more of these celebrities that wear the bracelet the more and more of the sheep that'll want to know what it is and be a part of it because they want to copy the false idols that's what the false idols do people worship the false idols then they want to be a part of what the false idols are talking about and what they're doing and nobody even looks into it they'll think the message of the kabbalah is something of oh, universal it's new age it's like invoking good positive thoughts, just garbage, just absolute garbage. When it says in plain sight, right in the book, how they communicate with Raziel, the fallen angel of Lucifer, how they, Aleister Crowley used to do rituals to call upon him. Okay, you could look into Aleister Crowley doing these rituals. This is becoming more mainstream than following Jesus Christ because moron celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio, these people who are so obsessed and lust over fame and fortune and want it so bad because they're so sick and pathetic that they allow themselves to get indoctrinated with this occultic belief, with this occultic rituals, and they spit on the name of the scriptures. They spit in the name of Jesus Christ. They spit on our Father Yahweh. These people need to be exposed. The Kabbalah needs to be exposed. For those of you that weren't aware of what the Kabbalah is, or it was, and you thought it was some kind of Buddha, New Age thing. Well, you're right, it is a New Age thing, a.k.a. New Age garbage. But it's black magic. It's the core of Freemasonry and Satanism. They do the rituals that are in the book. They call on spirits. They do blood rituals and human sacrifice. The Kabbalah goes back to before Jews even adopted. It goes back to Mystery Babylon. It's one of the mystery books. And the Jews keep it hidden because the Jews aren't real Jews. They're fake Jews. But you can't say anything to them because it's anti-Semitic to even call them out. But the books that they teach, the Talmud and the Kabbalah, are black magic. They're satanic. They don't really worship the God of the Bible. They worship Lucifer. They're not real Jews like we learn in Revelation. The Kabbalah is not a book that the Jews created. It's a book that the Jews stole and they kept it going. They pushed it and spread it. And they cloak themselves as Jews when they're not. The Kabbalah is demonic and satanic, just as the Talmud is. The Talmud is the book that the Pharisees wrote, the same Pharisees who crucified Jesus Christ. Jesus came and spoke against the Pharisees because the Pharisees were practicing the Kabbalah. They were practicing the mystery religions. They weren't practicing the Old Testament. Okay, it's a cover for them so they can get away with doing this in plain sight. And then they make it look cool because they have people like Leonardo DiCaprio supporting it and all the mainstream celebrities support it. So the sheep see it and they say, yeah, Jesus and that stuff, that's kind of dated, right? That's like, you know, it's very judgmental and dated. I'll follow the Kabbalah. It seems positive because no, they've created this, this disease where everybody needs to be positive. Nobody could be negative. Block the hate, right? A world united under a one world government with a one world religion, which doesn't preach the gospel. We know as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, that we're going to endure and suffer while we're here. 
We know it's not supposed to be great times and everything's supposed to be wonderful. We do the best we can to enjoy the, the gifts that God has given us here, but we don't believe in storing up treasure here. These people are all about the opposite. And they flash it right in front of your face. I mean, these people are practicing black magic. They're summoning demons. And they're telling you they are by wearing the Kabbalah bracelet, letting other people in the occult know, hey, I've now climbed up into the Kabbalah. I'm learning. I'm encoding it. I'm decoding it. I'm learning the mysteries. Right? So the other false gods can nod their head and say, okay, it's time to reward Leo then. It's time to reward him with his, with his uh, let's enshrine him with his Oscar. That's what it's about. We have to get people awake to see all of these false religions that have been set up based on the occult, based on black magic, based on mysticism. We have to, as followers of Christ, expose these people. They're demonic, they're satanic, and they're brainwashing everyone into following this new age philosophy centered around black magic and the mystery religions. So please help me in waking people up. Share this channel. Share other people's channels. Tell your friends what you're learning. Point it out. We have to wake up our brothers and sisters who are getting led down this path. I thank you for listening to today's show. May God bless you and peace be with you.